have you been a side chick before and you, do you feel like you helped someone's relationship improve i just want to know what y'all think personally i'm all for loyalty i'm a very loyal submissive um loving caring mother wife all of those things unfortunately no matter how good you are to people sometimes that doesn't mean that you get a reciprocation of your love and affection and care so chime in on the whole conversation between si about side chicks okay yeah and yeah, yeah. women giving meeting. side chicks praise and i wanted to get your insight on that okay see one of the, okay so i want to be clear that look at it from a historical context a side chick mistress um a woman that f fulfills roles that your wife may not be as competent to fill in. Because the question was, can you learn anything from your side chick? Mm -hmm. or something like that. Well, if you look at polygynist or polygamous relationships, oftentimes sister wives coach up other wives how to be better in certain areas. She's just a legal side chick. Well, a, an acceptable side chick. But if you look back throughout history, men of power, men of, of resource have always had their principal wife and have had the opportunity to have women who came to their court to play the harp, read poetry, massage, dance, whatever. Did they have sexual access to these women? Of course. Did they always choose to opt for it? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But those women would have been considered side chicks. Now, I, I think in Black America, we look at, um, I, think our relation, I think our relationships are so basic to where we think we can get everything from one person. And a side chick per se does not necessarily mean it has to be a sexual relationship. Case in point, look at the average CEO of a Fortune 500 company. They take their executive assistant with them from company to company to company. Mm -hmm. to company. That is called his work wife. Anybody mm -hmm. in the company knows that his executive assistant is a work wife, but his wife at home is his primary wife. There have been off. I have witnessed when executive assistants have coached wives up to try to make up with their husbands because she's around him more. So I think we were looking at it from just a strictly sexual standpoint, which I understand because it's the first thing that inflames passions. But if it ultimately gets down to say that if, if a woman is around your man and knows your husband in ways that you don't, and he goes to her for whatever. Is there any benefit to you hearing what she is there any benefit to you hearing or knowing what she does? And that's why I said all the information is good as long as you and, and that way I think the information can be good. So I, I don't think I, I don't expect a lot of people to like that though. I I understand it, Kevin. I have a question. You were speaking about something about women being amused. Mm -hmm. Can you explain that? Because I, I was interested in a woman amuse. is amused. Um like um Hugh Hefner. Famous, a reporter famously came to Hugh Hefner when he was in his late 60s, 70s. And they were saying, you know, you got all these beautiful women around here, Hugh. You know, you're old. You're decrepit. You got to know that they're just around here for the money. He said, I don't care why they're here. I just care that they're here. Because he liked being around beautiful women. It made him feel better. It was in a better point of view. And I will tell you guys personally, I have witnessed in company executive uh, packages, the line item miscellaneous was written into their compensation package to take care of their mistress. Mm -hmm. Because um, when these, how many times you guys, I mean, I used to do a lot of business in, in strip clubs and I would see these businessmen there all the time on Tuesday, on Thursday, mm -hmm. with their favorite dancers to go in there to get an attitude adjustment or whatever, and then go back to the trading floor or whatever. Mm -hmm. We understand that women can fulfill a purpose that's not just sexual. Sometimes they just need, and and I think that in Black America in particular, we have such a no. We are, we're so against paying for anything. The whole notion of tricking and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. We, you know, brothers are like I ain't paying for shit. If I, you know, if I, I, I got to be able to get it, and, and and vice versa. So I think our relationships. Um, I've become rather primitive, man. We don't, we don't. So let's let's say Courtney. Mm -hmm. 
a woman like Courtney has benefit to a man just being around her, her level of femininity <laughs> reinforces your masculinity. And there's, cause you can tell being in the presence of a feminine woman being in the presence of a masculine woman, she, she drains you cause you're, gonna, you're in competition, you're in combat mode. She rejuvenates you. So women have a muse ability um, that honestly, I don't think many men look at because we just want to have sex. So. Hi guys, it's your girl Noxie and I'm back again with another video. Thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. And if you're new here, you know what to do. Join the family, smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Guys, today I'm bringing you an exciting topic. I was a fly on the wall in some conversation. I was with a chemist and uh, the lady behind the counter was saying to her friend, marriages are not popping if there's no side chicks, okay? And I just thought that was really funny. Um, so that's today's topic. I just want us to get into that because obviously this lady was a mature grown lady saying this and I'm like, oh well, um, you know what they say about people that are old and have lived the life, they know, they have wisdom, okay? So, uh, I just want us to talk about this today because I know some of you guys are married watching this um, channel. So, uh, technically what the lady was saying is marriages need side chicks to thrive. Um, I don't know what you guys think. Before I go any further, if you feel like dropping a comment down below, be sure to drop me a comment. But what I generally think is that's an interesting perspective because I'm a married woman now. Um, I know how hard marriage can get and I know how hard it is to live with the person. So I can understand how some people would want to go out there and get some fresh energy, maybe some, you know, just different vibrations, different um, socialization. And if I'm 100% honest, I feel like the way human beings are created is to socialize, you know. So uh, as much as we say we are partner's best friend, at some point or another, he needs other friends around him to just be well socialized. However, I don't think those friends need to be romantic relationships. But I do think your partner needs other females around him that are not yourself or other males because i mean are you trying to say for the rest of your married days your partner is just going to be hanging out with you all the time and you know it's just you too i feel like that's not very good for socialization but uh in regards to the side chicks topic listen i don't think side chicks make marriages um work out or improve the relationship between a married couple because it adds strain not improvement i mean it's stressful and it's strainous on a relationship so i just feel like that is a biased opinion but people somehow need to console themselves and be fine with being second or being a side chick because it's hard it's hard out here in relationships but one thing you must know is whether you date a green blue black white guy is just gonna be the same pain all round. I mean, these guys are gonna hurt you, for real, like this happens. So you guys watch several podcasts that uh, talk about high value men and relationships. You'll hear that they say a high value man has to have more than one woman and the woman has to be fine with it. I think that's some BS. I'm going right into the bin because like, look, if you want to be a man and go have several women, I think you should just not get married. Don't commit because marriage is a commitment. So why must why must I stay in a relationship where, okay, maybe if we're dating, yeah, and if we're dating, you can have other women on the side. But if you make a decision to say, I want to tie the knot, I want to lock this woman down and I want to give her a ring, you're no longer allowed to have side chicks sorry but if you don't want to have side chicks if you want to have side chicks don't get married just don't get married because the marriage thing is a commitment so why are you tying somebody's child to that rubbish nobody has to go through that like if if you just feel like you're not ready to be with one woman for the rest of your life don't tie the knot because that's all you're doing telling her you're gonna be my only woman for the rest of my life and then you go to find side chicks that's not fair that is not right I don't think it's a great idea to go out and get side chicks if you're a married man. 
And if you are a man and you are not yet married and you feel like you can't be with one woman, leave them. Just don't marry somebody's child to go hurt them at the end of the day. I just think the commitment part of marriage is a serious one for me. And I'm not with the whole infidelity thing. I'm, I'm just, I don't, I don't even understand how people in other countries do this polyamory thing, do the polygamy thing. I just don't get it. For me, I feel like I'm too jealous. I don't know if other women can handle it, but well, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Drop me a comment down below. Do marriages need side chicks to thrive? What do you guys think? Or have you been a side chick before and you, do you feel like you help someone's relationship improve? I just want to know what y'all think. Personally, I'm all for loyalty. I'm a very loyal, submissive, um, loving, caring mother, wife, all of those things. Unfortunately, no matter how good you are to people sometimes, that doesn't mean that you'll get a reciprocation of your love and affection and care. So you can still do everything for a person and they will still choose to go get a side chick, okay? So there's really nothing you can do to stop it. I mean, even if you change your hair, your, your, your everything, like, I, I don't know, you can't stop it. If a man wants to go out there and get another woman, he will do so. You can't stop it. So all you can just do is be the best version of yourself and work on the relationship. And I think even in the relationship, communicate. Like you have to ask your men questions like, honey, um, do you think you can be with me alone for the rest of our days? Just hear what he says. And well, his answer is gonna tell you how he's feeling or how he's thinking, you know. At least just have the conversation, be honest. So that way if he goes and gets a side chick when he said he wouldn't, then you can hold him to it. So it's just like, you have to know. You have to know these things before you get married. I know most of us girls just die being fall in love and think, yeah, this guy loves me back the same way, but they might not love me back the same way. They might want a side chick, and that's what people mean. Uh, marriage is need side chicks to thrive. That means that nigga ain't really down for you for real. Like, it, it means his attention is divided, his love for you is not that strong, because I feel like when women really love a man, they don't even go out and cheat. They don't even go out and get side niggas and all of that stuff. So when a man says, I need a side chick, I'm confused. I don't know. Like, that just means maybe this woman is not your cup of tea like that. And you just want something more. And you're looking for something. So I always say, um, men know when the search is not over. Like, they know. They're gonna get with you. And then if you see them still messaging other people and having side chicks and all of that stuff, his search is not over. He's still looking for something more, more fulfillment, more whatever, but realize something that is nothing to do with you and everything to do with the person doing it. They want to feel something from doing whatever they're doing. So it's nothing to do with you. And I wish you all the best in your marriages. But for me, I'm not with the side chick life. Drop me a comment down below on what you think. Anyway guys, I don't know what you guys think about this video. Drop me a comment down below, like this video, share, subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next video.